Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy and see what we have Cancer. So what do we have? Angels, Spirits, Guides for Cancer for the week. Overarching energy please. What is the overarching energy for Cancer? Thank you. The Emperor. Card of Aries. Okay. Message for Cancer, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. I've got in the near future. Let's see what we... I'm going to pull one more card. Cancer, any other message with that? Any other message with that, please? Choosing a new direction. Okay. I'm going to get another clarifier. Let's get a, another card for that Emperor before we start, Cancer. Thank you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I've got the Empress. There is something new happening here. Okay. Well, that's what the card is saying. So let's um, go deep into the message. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides for the week. I'm going to pull three cards. Cancer, the first card is the issue or challenge. Second card, advice from Spirit. Third card is your near future outcome then we clarify go deep into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay message for our lovely cancer please empress and emperor wow <laughs> okay i've got i've got two cards there so I have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here, Cancer. Advice from Spirit, I've got the Emperor again. Wow. And the Queen of Pentacles, which is very similar to the Empress. Um, that's in your outcome. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Cancer. <clears throat> message for Cancer, please. I've got the chariot in the challenge position. Cancer, this is you. The chariot card is you, your major arcana. The emperor is clarified with the five of wands. And the queen of pentacles is the four, is clarified with the four of swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the fool. It, it feels in this situation, Cancer, that There's definitely some kind of, it feels like let's just cut, let's just get one card for the Empress and the Emperor. Let's get one card for the Empress and the Emperor together, please. Yeah, your four of wands, it doesn't surprise me. Um, this is the happy home card. I mean, this is like a power couple, you know? Uh, the Empress and the Emperor, top of their game, both masculine and feminine energies, you know, that can complement each other perfectly or can actually be polar opposites, you know? Um, it, it feels in this energy something is happening here 
It feels to do with some kind of like a significant relationship. And there is some kind of evaluation going on within that relationship. But, you know, this is the happy home card, which is clarifying. It feels to do with a relationship here. Um, celebration, joy, happiness. As a celebratory energy with the Four of Wands, a, stabil a stabilizing energy with the Four of Wands. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel for some of you. It feels in this situation, something's going on in a relationship here, but you have an opportunity to bring stability back into that relationship. Choose a new direction. Sometimes I'm getting this energy of looking at things in a different way. I'm just going to clarify this card, Cancer, because I think it's important too. Let's clarify this choose a new direction. What does that mean? What does this choose a new direction mean? I know we have the fool here, but I'm interested in just getting a card for that angel card. The strength card and the magician. So this is an energy of having your power strength to face a fear or challenge and rise to it and overcome it. The magician understands how to change something from negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. Can be the unfolding of a new path as well, manifesting a new path for yourself. And there's a message here that you have all the resources at your disposal. But a strength exists when there's fear, where there's adversity. It feels like you want to you want to take control of something. Or there will be an opportunity to take control of something and find a new direction in the near future. And it feels to do with a relationship. The seven of coins and the ten of coins or pentacles is, is a committed relationship, Cancer. I mean, this is generally marriage or a long-term committed relationship, family. Um, it feels in this situation that you're taking stock. This energy is very much about what's worth my time and energy. I'm taking stock. You know, I've put a lot of effort and time into this relationship. There's history here. But it feels in this situation you're really wanting to find some kind of route forward in how you move forward. You know, some kind of solution, taking stock. What's of value to you now? What's not of value to your life? Now it, it, no, it feels like you're possibly considering options. Weighing up the history versus, you know, other opportunities here, other paths available to you, you know, that chariot energy. It just feels like you haven't made up your mind yet, but you kind of want to find a way forward. Because this, it feels, it feels in this situation, Cancer, that there's a kind of reluctance because you want, there's a lot of history here. So it's not something that you want to give up on, you know, on a, on a whim. This is really taking stock, really considering, considering your options, really considering the time and energy, you know, that you want to put into something now and it feels to do with a relationship. What's of value to you? How valuable it is to you right now? Because there is definitely an energy to take control of something that is just going round and round and round in circles. There's been a disagreement here. Five of Wands is a disagreement, or it might well be that there's a disagreement that keeps on, that is ongoing. Now it could be to do with this Emperor, which is generally more of a male energy. 
you know, the other court cards, you know, pages through to kings, I would say is male or female energy. The emperor is generally in male energy. Um, the five of, of wands is, is conflict, uh, not being on the same page, tensions, uh, ongoing tensions, disagreements, not going on the same page, pettiness. Um, and it just keeps on going round and round and round about the same thing over and over and over again. You might find somebody too controlling. Because that can be an energy of the emperor. It can be an energy of taking control, taking authority, taking charge. So that might resonate for you as well. There is a need to take control of this before it escalates. You know, this is still heat. You know, it's heated discussion because it's fire. So there is a need to take control of something here. But I, I also feel in this respect, there could be some kind of controlling It feels in this situation you just want to get that happy medium back. The future outcome. Let's clarify what this fool means for you. Let's clarify what this fool means to you as a new beginning, if they'll tell me. Uh, let's clarify what this fool means. Let's clarify what this fool means, please. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, the world, which is completion, drawing a line under something, major completion, not going back, stepping through to a new phase of your life. There is an opportunity here to, I mean, this is about the Four of Swords, which is about recovery. So it feels in this situation, Cancer, there is an opportunity to find some kind of recovery. The Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing healing energy. So I'm definitely getting this energy being linked to this Empress as well. You know, some kind of recovery. Um, It feels in this situation, Cancer, there is some kind of recovery that's available to you. And she is somebody who stays on the path that she is on. She focuses, she's diligent, she's patient, she's methodical. Um, and she keeps going, you know, one step at a time, working through something until she gets the success. You know, she is a card of abundance, but she's a nurturing energy, a healing energy as well, the Queen of Pentacles. It feels for me that healing is available to you, healing a rift, healing a disagreement, healing a conflict and finding a solution. Maybe this is the new direction, you know, giving something some deep thought and getting your head around a situation and how you need to move forward. I mean, it feels in this situation, it's kind of like plan B because, you know, this knight has been out in battle He's taken a breather, you know, momentary pause to get his breath back, recover, recalculate, recharge, reset, but also re-strategize, you know, on going back out there and winning the battle. So there's definitely this energy here, Cancer, of there is new growth here. There is new abundance available to you. It feels for some of you there is an opportunity to draw the line under something. I mean, this can be about completion stepping through to a new phase of your life now the fool can be liberation you know liberating from choosing to liberate from a relationship um but it can also be an energy of releasing baggage you know i've i've learned lessons you know let's put this down to learning lessons we've gone through a testing time but we're coming through the other side i'm ready for this wonderful new beginning and you know having the strength power resilience and resoluteness to overcome the challenge that we face and it feels in that situation that's what's happening here because these overarching energies are really beautiful you know it's the happy home it's not the five of ones it's the four of ones which is the happy home card so i definitely feel that happiness is being restored 
but you've been through some kind of difficult time but it feels like for some of you you're finding that way forward the new path and just drawing a line into something that has been testing challenging now this disagreement the, this tension it feels it's specifically to do with your other half in this situation it feels more like a male energy but nevertheless there's an opportunity to come through the other side of it and release the baggage and feel pretty good about it because the fool is that light-hearted wonderful positive energy of of uh new beginnings you know new phases new starts so it definitely feels for some of you that the opportunity is here to bring that stability back in your life i'm going to pull a final card final message for cancer please final message for cancer thank you okay yeah <laughs> i've got manifestation which is definitely the magician oh you know what i'm also getting yeah sorry that's uh popped into my head as well what i'm also getting is um this resoluteness to find the magic again yeah find the magic again so we have manifestation be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life now write it down on paper manifestation step one yeah i definitely feel for some of you there is there's definitely been some disagreement but this is a major completion you know and, and it feels in this situation healing is open to you recovery is open to you a solution is open to you and there is definitely some kind of new beginning so it feels very beautiful here I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cancer. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.